I don't even know why he's talking to me. I didn't do anything, but all right, here we go. Um, yeah, I think just managing the game a little bit better. Um, some situations where, you know, clockwork and uh, just getting everybody set and lined up, and, and that really starts with me. And I thought I did a better job. There was uh, one or two mistakes I made out there still. Um, there are good mistakes that happened for our team to see. Um, it was kind of like overall, like, hadn't really practiced that before. So it was good for us to see it and get it on film and be able to correct it. Um, but, yeah, I think I did a better job of that, but still obviously room to grow. I mean, yeah, after the, like, the first quarter, I was like, I might throw for 25 yards today. <laughs> I just kept handing the ball off, and that's cool. If, if that's going to win us the game, I'm more than fine with that. But I just, I just kept uh, – I think we like went through two or three drives. I was like, I don't think we've called a drop back pass yet. So I was like, hey, I mean, they're going to sit – and we, we knew that that was an option coming to the game. They sit in their three-safety look, and really they only had a five-man box. And with our run game, you have you know, six guys in the box. And sometimes they brought a six-man. Rarely did they bring a seventh man to the box. So, like I said, football is a numbers game, and – you know, they gave us some good numbers to run the ball, and obviously all offensive line played their tails off, backs ran their tails off, and receivers did a good job blocking too. So, man, it was, it was, it was uh, yeah, did not have to do much today. Just hand the ball off. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah, that was horrible. I'm just thinking about any – like, I kept, I kept calling Coach R on the phone, and we're just talking about the, you know, possible play call. And I think, like, five different play calls we were going to run. You know, he's like, we're running this. And then, like, Tim's like, we're going to run that. So just thinking about all the possible scenarios um, and plays that we could have got, it was I hated it. And that's why I never like knowing the first play of the game because you can just think and sit about all the possible scenarios and you got there and overthink. And I told him just to surprise me. And he's like, all right. So we went out there, called a play, we ran it. And, you know, personally, I think they missed a PI, but whatever. That's not my decision to make. But I thought executed it well. And, you know, I don't if he doesn't get out, I think Keyshawn makes that catch. Couldn't get his other hand up. So Keyshawn's got sure hands. So whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, it was big. It was big. He kind of gave us a little different look than what we've seen. Um, kind of jumped outside right when I was getting ready to throw it. Um, and some teams will do that with, you know, versus what we do. Um, so it was good to see that and know the rest of the game, you know, the ball's going to be in a different spot. And I think we hit another one to Jamal on the opposite end zone. They called a PI. But it was good to see that and get that knowledge of how they're going to play that certain route. Um, and that's not really something they'd done before. So it was good to see it. Obviously, our receivers are taught to, you know, play corner and receiver at the same time. He did a great job breaking it up. And yeah, glad he did that. Yeah, and, and, you know, last week, I don't think they struggled. I think last week they put seven in the box, which makes you pull the ball in football, and that's numbers game. So I think, you know, I think Stolmers ran for 100 yards last week versus a team that was seven in the box the entire game. Um, and that's hard to do, running the ball when they have an extra guy in there. Um, but, again, they played their tails off today. Um, and like, like uh, DeMond said, that starts with Justice getting those guys ready. You know, he's devastated he can't go. He's heartbroken. And we were heartbroken for him because he's a warrior. So him, just his attitude throughout the whole week, knowing he wasn't going to go out there, you would have thought that he was – still playing with how he was active at practice and getting those guys ready and uh, just being in their ear and encouraging them. And he's such a good leader. So, you know, obviously credit to those guys, but also got credit Justice for being such an awesome guy. Yeah, um, obviously great, some great protection from the offensive line. Um, took a sack that was on me. Um, and, and they kind of showed something. Again, they showed something on film, but I got to adjust that, whatever. But, you know, great protection up front. Um, really had all day to throw. Um, and guys getting open, running their routes, uh, being in the spots they need to be, making good decisions with their routes. And, again, like there are some plays where the guys just got wide open, and, that, and that's on the O-line protecting and the wilds getting open. So, again, made my job very easy today, just sitting in there and just delivering the ball and being a distributor. So, yeah, all credit to those guys. Yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't really have a great look at it because um, when I threw it, the tack, I'm obviously not the tallest guy in the room. So when sometimes after I throw a ball, like uh, uh, our tackles will back in, like not back into me, but they'll set. So I go to throw it, they're right between me and the receiver. And I, I, could, I, I, heard he, I knew he caught it because they cheered. I did not see where it landed and how he caught it. So I have not seen it yet. But thank you. I appreciate it. I will take your, I, I will take your word for it. And I'll say, yeah, it was a great throw. <laughs> Dang, appreciate it. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. For 
just you know, again, always going back to numbers. You know, they were they were letting they were giving me time to walk that ball up um, with the defense they were running. So it's allowed me to make some good decisions, and uh, you know they mixed it up too. They brought some guys in the box quick. So, but yeah, allowed me to make some good decisions. O line again did a great job protecting. Receivers ran great routes downfield, and I think we hit some big explosive plays on the RPO today, which was which was awesome. Um, obviously, a big staple in our offense, so it was good to see that happen. Um, some contested catches too on the RPO, which was which was sweet. Um, so I think you know it really starts with the guys up front protecting, and the backs picking up their guy. Receivers getting open. So again, I didn't do much today. I just did my job, and those guys made all the plays. So. Yeah. At, at times, it's kind of like a, hey, I'm letting you know, you know, hey, and it, it's really just habit. I, I just, you know, I'm kind of, once I give it, and obviously they know they have the ball, but I'm kind of putting my back, my hand on their back to let them know, hey, like, you know, I'm not giving you the ball anymore. And I, that's no secret, you know, if a free safety's looking at my right hand when I tap him, he's too late to tackle it. So I'm not giving away any secrets here, but um, yeah, I kind of just let him know he's got it, but the ball's already in his hand. So just a habit, to be honest, probably got to break it, but whatever. Um, getting some lunch with my my dad and my dad's in town and hang out with the guys. Yep. Uh, no birthday plans. Probably just hang out with the guys. Celebrate the win. That's all I needed for the birthday. Hey, Mitch, you're taller than Tate. Oh, I am taller than Tate, and I'm taller than Justin Elson. He doesn't believe it, but I am. <laughs>